When you're uploading your books to Amazon KDP, you may be encountering this error. Fonts are not properly embedded. And here are three ways to get around this issue. Number one, you can see that this is a cover that I've mocked up and it says fonts are not properly embedded in your file. Amazon has embedded them for you and you can go ahead and press this approve button. There are no other um, issues that are popping up during this quality check. As we can see, it's only the cover that's potentially causing problems. Um, so you can go ahead and approve it if you would like to do so. This is option number one because Amazon has embedded them for you. If it doesn't quite sit right with you that this might slightly change your book's appearance, you can go ahead and move on to fix number two. So this is the cover that I just quickly mocked up in Canva. And all you need to go and do is download and make sure that when you're downloading your print PDF is to flatten PDF. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and press this um, CMYK setting. It's just optimized for printing. This will not affect the embedding of your file in any way, the embedding of the fonts in your file in any way. It's just good practice for using print uh, when you're working with printed files. So what you really wanna do is just focus on this flattened PDF, make sure that's checked off. And I will show you what that looks like in the print previewer in one second. Now, this is the version of the print PDF that I have uploaded flattened. So you can still see that I'm getting this warning and still I can go ahead and approve it. Um, at this point, I would go ahead and do that. But if this does not quite satisfy you, we can still move on to fix number three. Now, this is an option only if you have the pro version of Canva because you're going to be able, you're going to need to be able to download a PNG with a transparent background. And that's only available with the pro version of the program. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. What I would do is duplicate my cover and I'm going to delete out every single element except for my text my two pieces of text here, and I'm going to turn this, this entire document here, into a transparent PNG. So I just wanna download this page two, and I'm going to upload this transparent PNG and replace this block of text with the, uh, with the image. So I will upload that in a minute, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I've got this transparent PNG and because I just you know um, deleted all the background elements it's you know easy to resize it without worry it's exactly where I want it to be on the page and I can go ahead now oops and I'm just gonna lock this so it doesn't get confused with whether it's a background element or not and I can go ahead and download this now as a PDF print don't really need to flatten it because there's technically no text elements on this cover. It's actually actually just an image overlaid on top of all of my other elements. So I'm going to download this. And again, I will show you what this looks like once it's all uploaded on the print previewer. Even with this third version of the cover uploaded, I'm still getting this warning. And again, I'm still able to go ahead and press approve. So these are all three ways that you can work around this error. And of course, if you want to truly see what your cover will look like, an option here is to order a proof copy. And I will link how to do that in the description below. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials about generating passive income online. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.